we probably have a lot of similarities with a lot of teams um, in this sleep. Probably more similarities with more teams than not. Um, some not, probably. Maybe not. You know, Baylor's a little different than we are. Um, but I would state very, uh, very similar. They're, uh, uh, I'm not saying we are, but they're extremely well coached. They know who they are. They know what they do. Um, and they've got uh, the position that you've got to be excellent at, and that's point guard. Lip Lipsky's a high-level point guard. Um, they're two, three, four, and five. All have a good understanding of how they want to play. You know, they score a lot of points off turnovers. Uh, good offensive rebounding team. Um, and they're tough. We just did it. We just played three games for three day, four days in Charleston. NCAA tournament. You're doing the uh, uh, same thing. So, um, not to oversimplify anything, Starnes, the game was last night, right? So, I came in here this morning, made a bunch of notes on our game last night. Once I was done with that, I started watching Iowa State. Brought our kids in uh, at uh, most of them was in here. You know, if we say practice at 3, they're probably going to be here at one thirty. Just the, our culture is like that. Um, and we practice. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time talking about West Virginia. Um, I didn't really have anything to say other than good win and let's move on. And uh, we met about Iowa State. Then we came and walked through a bunch of stuff. Leave tomorrow morning. Um, um, we'll leave. I don't even know what time we we'll leave. Whenever we leave. Uh, get there tomorrow night. We'll practice. Get up, do what we do on game day, and go play. Uh, and that's simple as that for me. I always uh, watch our film first because I have to make notes. You know, because I know what the points of emphasis are, and I have to see whether we're doing that. And then I have a, you know, my own grading scale on how I grade things, and uh, I've been doing that for a long time. Um, but, you know, I always make notes on a um, uh, yellow legal pad, and uh, I've got a ton of them, legal pads, over the years. And, and then um, I bring the staff in, and then we meet. I, every staff member has to do a post-game post evaluation form, and there's certain things on there they have to evaluate. And then we kind of compare our notes and we say, okay, let's put this on the board and go clean these things up. And then once we're done with that, we go, oh, now I have a week between games. You know, we're a little bit more exhaustive with it. Um, but when you have a quick turnaround like this, um, I, I didn't spend. I mean, the West Virginia game, all we needed to see was the first uh, 20, 28 minutes. You know, the last 12 minutes, we had a stretch there it was foul. It seemed like there was a foul called every possession. Then it, you know, gets out of your control then. Um, but mo most of the day was spent on uh, Iowa State. They evaluate exactly what they see through their lens. Not everybody sees the same thing. That's why I have them all do it. Rarely ever, rarely ever. Um, most guys do everything toward their personality, you know. Uh, but you have a defense, offense. Um, you know, you know what most people would call um, special teams: baseline out of bounds, side out of bounds. You know, we haven't had many late game situations yet, um, so it's been pretty, pretty uh, generic and. You know, um, and I'm a pretty harsh critic. I mean, even though we haven't lost a game, I, I know what's coming. So you're always trying to get better and clean things up. Because if you don't, if you don't stop them uh, when they occur, then, you, you know, you can have slippage to a point where it's irreversible. You know, you've lost it. You know, something happens once, it could be, you know, an accident. Happens twice, it could be a coincidence. But when it happens three or more times, it becomes a habit. And um, you know, a coach's job should be to create good habits. 
but not allow bad habits to creep in. So that's why we're constantly evaluating. What's who doing? You. Um, what's my routine? <laughs> um, I'm probably um, taking a shower or uh, watching. Uh, I like to watch a game from last year. Um, you know, and on my on my iPad, we'll have all my the first game, the first play we ran in every game the entire season. We'll have uh, what I something I call that the first TV timeout after the four minute mark or the second half after the 12 minute mark so i like to come back through things to see if there's uh anything that i lost in uh cyber sphere you know what what what's out there that i i didn't but most of the stuff i'm you know we're you know we we're really organized on our, our stuff um you know I've, I've, I've on my ipad i have every game that we played here since 2014-15 so a lot of times i just like to go grab a game that uh, I remember one year, uh, uh, Galen was on the team with Damian Dotson. It was right after Christmas, and we went to Connecticut. And I think we we're up twenty some at halftime. I said, "Well, you know, what did, what did we do good that game?" Because I might have thought about that the night before. So I'll go grab my iPad. So I'm just just combing through stuff. Um, you know, somebody's always coming back to the you know. You know, uh, used to be um, Rudy Tomjanovich comes to our games. He always likes to come back there and sit down and talk to me. Dusty Baker would come in. Um, um, basketball guys, some coach, high school coach, somebody that I know will come back there and talk to me. Ref, the, the, uh, coordinator of referees, officiating commissioner, he'll come back there sometimes. So I'm not doing anything, uh, anything overly important wait just wait and I, I you know i know what time I, I do whatever you know i usually get in there about an hour and a half before the game i have a radio show i have to do hour before tip then about 42 i go with the team and then about eight i go back with the team and then about three i walk down into court and coach the game and do all that stuff then go home okay <laughs>